Hey guys, what's up? It's Hope. It is Monday, February 25th, 2019, and I'm here to bring y'all a week eight update of keto. Um, week eight, no cheats, still going strong. Um, today is my weigh-in day, so I wanted to hop on real quick and give y'all an update, um, talk a little bit about the last week, um, maybe talk about some recipes and just how I'm feeling overall. Um, and so I'm just going to just jump right in. So um, last week I came to you weighing 263 point something. <laughs> I'll post it below. Um, today I'm like 262.3. So it's like a 1.6 loss for the week. I'll make sure and put all of the exact stats below. Um, uh, it's been a, it's been a very long day. So I'm trying to get this out to y'all. Um, so yeah, a 1.6 pound loss for the week. I will definitely take that, especially because I had a really random gain last week. And so uh, I'm noticing throughout the week that the scale really isn't moving much. Um, I'm trying not to get discouraged by that. I know I talked about that in other videos, like not letting the number on the scale really define how I'm doing. Um, but it's of course, it's frustrating when you're working so hard on nutrition and fitness and you're not really seeing numbers. So I wanna talk a little bit about that. Um, so that makes it be an almost 13 pound loss for eight weeks, which I feel like is pretty good. Um, it's definitely not coming off as quickly as I thought it would. And I have some ideas as to why I think that's happening um, and maybe some goals moving forward of what I wanna do um, to change things up a bit. Um, so let me talk real quick about um, just why I think I'm kind of stalling out. Um, I talked about in uh, a few videos back how I wasn't really tracking my calories. I was really just focusing on macros, macros, macros. Um, and I've been doing a lot of research and really reading a lot of articles and watching a lot of videos um, when I can in my free time. Ha ha. And I feel like I'm going to have to kind of switch my mental focus and make sure that I am paying close attention to my caloric intake. I feel like a lot of people have said, even when you're on keto, there has to be some sort of deficit there in order to be able to see a loss in weight. I know there's some contradiction out there and, and just lots of opinions about that. Um, but I feel like for me, I'm going to have to start monitoring my calories a little bit more closely um, and really cutting back um, and just making sure that even though I'm making really good choices and I'm not cheating and I'm following the specific lifestyle, um, if I'm wanting to see those numbers change, I'm going to need to make sure that I'm monitoring my calories also. So um, I know I talked about that in videos past, um, but moving forward, um, that is definitely a goal to make sure um, I'm monitoring that. Now, I will say this last week, my calories ranged from, I think, like 1,200 to like 1,500, which is a lot. Um, we went camping this last weekend, and so um, we were out of the house, and that, I will say, I have a non-skill victory for that in a minute, um, but... I just, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to listen to my body. I'm trying to make really good decisions. I'm trying not to rush the process. Um, but at the same time, I'm also trying to make sure I'm not sedentary in the process. Like I want to make sure I'm continuing to evolve in it. So I'm going to start paying closer attention to calories. I know I talked about that in the past, but I'm really going to make it a priority. So sorry. I'm yawning. Um, it's late and I'm just trying to get this video out to y'all. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about um, is I feel like I need to start playing around with some intermittent fasting. I know a lot of people who are on keto or just doing are doing lots of different types of fasting. I've been kind of reading up on that too. I didn't realize there were different types of fasting, but there definitely are. Um, and so I'm going to try to figure out what works best for me this week on trying to start adding in some intermittent fasting, whether that means I stop eating at 10 and don't eat again until eight or, um, just making there be a cutoff period for calories during my day. And so my body is really burning that fat for fuel and I'm not, I'm not eating, I'm not overeating, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, um, that's going to be something else I try to focus on this week. Um, trying to read more into intermittent fasting and maybe applying that into my daily routine also. Um, 
I had a couple goals for last week. One of them was to get outside and walk and exercise. And of course it rained almost every single day last week, of course. <laughs> um, but I did try to get outside with Grayson as much as I possibly could. Maybe that had something to do with the 1.6 pound loss. Um, I didn't meet my goal of doing it four to five times a week or whatever that goal was for last week, but I did get outside um, to try and get in some exercise, so that's good. I would like to pick that up. I did enjoy being outside. Um, when we got back from camping this weekend, Andy's car was covered in pollen, so that tells me that spring is coming, and I'm so excited to get outside and exercise more and just be outside with the boys and hopefully have tons of energy to be able to do that um we also are starting getting ready to start up little league again and so i'm super excited about that um for baseball season and just being out of the house with grayson and just practicing and and getting in more exercise um and more steps that way um, my non-skill victory in relation to camping, um, we went camping this last weekend just to kind of get away after the government shut down and just, you know, take the boys for the weekend away. And um, it was so amazing. I've, I've posted videos on my channel from our camping place before, but um, we go to this campgrounds about an hour away and it's so nice. And even though it rained and it was cold, um, we still had a really good time getting out. Um, my non-skill victory is that even though we were camping and I was outside of my house and my control, I did not cheat. I stayed on plan. I did not waver from that plan. It, just because I was out in the middle of the woods didn't mean that I still, I, I could cheat. I'm trying to focus on making this really a lifestyle and um, I didn't want to fall back into nasty habits or allow myself um, a cheat day because we were we were not in our normal environment. So I was super proud of myself for that. Um, we grilled out on the grill and I had grilled chicken and grilled sausage and we just tried to make sure and pack some things that, um, the, that we all could eat, that it wasn't really like a diet food and that's what I feel like I love so much about keto or that's one of the reasons is I can really adapt this way of eating anywhere we go. It's not like a special plan where I have to have special food. Um, and so I'm really, I'm really grateful for that non-skill victory. I'm excited that I still continue to, um, stay focused. I will say this last week though, um, I did struggle with food, not saying that I got off plan. Um, but there was a day where um, Andy's been having like this really bad sweet tooth. And he of course is reaping the benefits of me cooking keto for dinner and, and having all this like these options. I, I did uh, several different recipes this week that I'm gonna talk about. But I had a, a day this week where food food was winning. Food was overtaking my mind and my thought. Um, so Andy had been having a sweet tooth. So I follow the Keto Dad on Facebook and he shared this recipe for this keto um, chocolate peanut butter pie and all of the ingredients are keto i mean it's there's no no sugar in it i mean it is to the tea a keto recipe but um i over ate on that pie like i literally had it for breakfast lunch and dinner that day or like lunch and dinner that day and i kept giving myself excuses of i have to eat it so it's gone i have to eat it so it's not in my fridge anymore or and i just found myself getting back into that old way of thinking and it's always there like the battle with food is always there just because i post these videos every week or i have for the last eight weeks of me being on plan and focused and not cheating doesn't mean that every day is not a battle um and i felt like that day when i rounded up that day and i put everything in my fitness pal and i posted my picture to instagram by the grace of god i felt like because i did pull back in other areas i still i still was under 20 grams of carbs but I felt like I lost that day. I felt like food won that day um, because I could, I wasn't in control of that urge to just eat as much of that pie that I wanted to, or to eat another slice, or, and I just felt like it's, it was important. It's important for me to say that I'm, I'm so human, and I'm just trying to figure this out, just like everybody else who wants to better themselves and, and be the very best of them possible. So. 
I had to share that and um, something that I've really struggled with. And I know that it's going to happen. I know I'm going to have days like that, but um, I feel like I've given myself this really amazing opportunity to have really great, amazing, supportive people through this channel that, that know and have experienced what that feels like to be in this battle with food and to have days where you don't necessarily feel like you've won. And so even though I had a loss for last week, that is still kind of playing in my head. Um, and so I'm trying to be more focused this week, trying to set myself up for success. Um, and let me talk a little bit about recipes. So this last week, I tried the keto chocolate peanut butter pie, obviously. Um, sidebar, it is incredible. And I definitely would recommend bringing it to like a church thing or like a potluck or your friends are having a party and you want to bring something keto and it's a dessert, do that. Um, I definitely won't be having it in my house just for the sake of not having that temptation um, just because we want dessert like I feel like it needs to be a special occasion just for me um, but you should definitely check out the recipe it was amazing I will post it in the comments below another recipe I tried was um, it was like this chicken zucchini chicken enchilada bake holy moly it was delicious I cooked that last night Andy had two helpings of it. He loved it so much. Um, it was just chicken and some seasonings and some onion and cheese. And we took the microplaner and made the zucchini um, noodle or the zucchini strip super, super thin. And so it was easy for them to cook down. It wasn't like mushy. Um, sometimes when you cook zucchini, it can be kind of mushy. Um, it was so great. So I'll make sure and post that recipe down below. Um, something else I also tried, I'm not sure if I talked about the Mizza last week, but I did do a Mizza, um, where we did ground turkey and Italian sausage as the crust and then did like a low carb marinara and veggies and pepperonis. That was so great. Andy was not a fan of that one. Um, he said it kind of reminded him of like a really weird meatloaf. <laughs> um, but I really liked it. So, um, I definitely see myself doing doing that one again. Um, so yeah, those are some really great recipes that I tried this week that, that were really a huge success in my book anyway. I'll make sure and post those down below. Um, so, so sorry this video has kind of been long, but I, I felt like I had a lot to talk about tonight and I wanted to make sure and get it out there and get it posted for week eight. So almost 13 pounds gone. Um, it's almost March, which I feel like is crazy. Um, I've been keeping like this monthly pound loss thing and I'm trying not to let it bother me that my loss for February um, isn't going to be this crazy giant number and that just goes back to me making sure that I'm keeping myself in check and not letting that number or that loss define me that I feel like I'm being successful in this way of eating because I'm not cheating and I'm following the plan um, and I'm just I'm just trying to stick to it and even though the weight's not coming off as quickly as I would like to, I'm just trying to trust the process and, um, and yeah, so I will let y'all guys go. I just got baby Grayson in bed. He is teething. He's cutting his two front teeth. And so that's why I was yawning at the beginning of this video. Um, we're not getting a whole lot of sleep because he's not feeling good. So, um, please be saying some extra prayers for him. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video.